What's up? What's up? What's up? How y'all doing today? This is Sean Anthony once again for the Illuminated Marketers. And um, I had a little something I wanted to drop on y'all today. I had just got through watching um, this video that you might want to check out. And um, basically, I'm going to tell y'all about the video after this is done. But um, I'm going to tell you where you can watch the video after this is done. But this was really some good information that I needed, you know what I'm saying, in order to help me to grow uh, my followers on Instagram, you know, you can generate a lot of leads on Instagram. And I know this from my previous business working in the consulting um, industry where, you know, um, I generated a lot of a lot of business off Instagram. A lot of my clients came directly off Instagram, straight into my Google voice. And, you know, I was able to engage with them, talk with them, answer their questions, and, you know, ultimately perform some services for them. So. This time, but, you know, the last time that I had an Instagram, you know, I shut it down. And this time I really wanted to um, build more of a following because I feel like I got much, much more to offer people um, with this service and with these with 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 these products um, in regards to people helping them to grow their business. So I really wanted to generate more of a following. I see a lot of people out there with 20, 30,000 followers and so forth. And honestly, I've never had that many followers, you know. So this information that I'm going to share with you right now is information that I'm also implementing myself because I'm growing a new Facebook account. Um, my Facebook is Illuminated Marketer. You can see me on there as Sean Anthony. Illuminated Marketer is my name on there. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, <clears throat> I will follow you back. But for the most part, um, one of the first things that you want to do, I'm going to give out like five things that you need to do in order to start generating followers on Instagram and ultimately generate leads. OK, now, the first thing that you want to do is you want to connect your Facebook account to your Instagram account. And, the re and this is what you definitely want to do this if you have a, uh, um, a, a, a new Instagram account. If you have a, a, a Facebook account that you already have, you know, a couple thousand friends on and whatnot, then you definitely want to connect your Facebook to your Instagram. What this does is it allows you to uh, reconnect with those people who you were already connected to and immediately start getting some uh, some people looking at your content on on Instagram. This also allows you to make posts on Instagram and allow them to go over to Facebook at the very same time. So you're being active on Facebook and Instagram at the same time. This is very key um, in basically keeping everything congruent with, uh, with your brand and keeping your message congruent. Um, another thing that you want to do is you want to... Hold on one second. I'm looking at my notes, you know. Um, another thing that you want to do is you definitely want to you definitely want to post great content. Now, I just I, like I said, I got a new Instagram account. And what I did was um, as I was preparing and, you know, going through a lot of the materials that allowed me to generate value. One of the things that I wanted to do to start off was put up a lot of inspirational stuff. You know what I'm saying? Put up a lot of inspirational uh, May Mays, a lot of inspirational pics and so forth. I'm about to start doing some videos, some quick, you know, minute long videos, you know, dropping some insight on some things and some encouraging and inspirational, motivational type of things. But you definitely want to put out great content. You want to keep that content congruent with what it is that you are doing. You know what I'm saying? If, if you are into, you know, network marketing, uh, home business, if you went to internet marketing and things like that, you don't want to be posting pics that are not in flow with what it is that message is about. You know what I'm saying? You you know, it's good to be funny sometimes and post up a lot of maybe you know, post up some memes that, you know, may may display some humor. But for the most part, you're in an industry where people need to stay motivated. People need to stay stay inspired. So if you want to mix up your own original content with some general content that, you know, uh you can just post up on the fly, then you definitely want to look to promote some, you know, motivational or inspirational type things if you're in the network marketing, internet marketing type of uh, type of genre or, you know, for whatever niche that your business is in, because it doesn't necessarily have to. You don't necessarily um, have to use these tips, these techniques just to market internet marketing businesses or network marketing business. You can use these to grow your presence on Instagram using whatever uh, uh, for whatever business that you have. 
But make sure that the content is congruent, make sure it's informative, make sure it motivates and inspires, uh, make sure it has value, you know. Um, Another thing that you can do is engage with uh, other popular Instagram pages, you know, people that have, the people that's in your niche that also have 20, 30,000, you know, uh, followers, you know, let's say network marketers, you know, a lot of what I offer is, you know, information and tools and techniques for network marketers to generate more leads in a business. You know, um, I'm not looking to bring uh, necessarily a network marketer into my network marketing business, but I'm, I'm, I'm offering information and valuable information and services and products that will help that Internet marketer um, generate more business, generate more leads and so forth. So I would want to interact with them and get them to follow me for the most part, because by them following me, they'll get more value. They'll get more value. They'll get more value on a daily basis. And then also, hopefully, you know, what I'm saying I can work with them in the near future. Um, you can do things like, you know, um, like uh, like a few of their pictures. Go to a person's page. And I see people doing this with me as well. I see people, other marketers on Instagram doing this with me. They, what they'll do is they'll go and they'll like a few of my pictures. They may go down the line and like about four or five of my pictures. And then they come on one of the pictures and they, they tell me how great my page is and so forth. And what it does is, and, I, and I'm speaking from experience here, is what it does is it it kind of intrigues you to want to go over to their page and see what they're about. And that's exactly what I do sometimes. You know, a person says a comment on mine, I immediately click on their face and I go over to their page and say, okay, what does this person do? And if I see that they're in the same industry, the same niche as me, then, you know, I'll follow them, you know, because I learn from everybody. So if they post up anything that's informative or has value to it, I would love to hear and learn from that. So it's good to engage those other profiles that, um, that are already popular out there, okay? And uh, another thing that you want to do, number four is that, in, and it's 10 of these that you get in this free, in this free, uh, this free PDF and video, um, once you click the link within the description of this live feed, there is, um, there is a free PDF and a free video where you get all 10 of the tips. I'm just going to give you five right now. Um, but the fourth thing that you want to do is you want to use hashtags and these are basic. The next five are like really, 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 uh, really powerful. And it, that'll lead you to even more information, but you want to use hashtags in your posts. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to just use generic hashtags either. You know, you want to use hashtags that really, uh, that really target, you know, what it is that you're into, what your niche is into. You know, you want to use keywords and sometimes you may even want to, do searches for keywords that you want to uh, do keyword research to choose which hashtags you want to use. But the great thing about Instagram is that when you put in a hashtag or you search for, when you type the hashtag symbol, the number sign symbol, and then you start typing a word, Instagram will automatically bring down a list of the most popular hashtags used for that word. So let's say if you use the, the hashtag success, because the picture or meme that you may be posting may be uh, something inspirational or motivational for those people who are striving for another level of success. So you want to use the hashtag success in that post and you see that, okay, this hashtag success has been used three million times. Okay, that's a good hashtag to use because that means not only has it been used three million times, but it's also people that are looking on Instagram for content that is centered around success. So I've noticed that my followers have increased, likes to my pictures have increased, more people have been coming to my page. Now, my page is brand new, so I'm just getting started on this new profile, building it up. But I'm noticing how using these techniques is starting to grow pretty quickly. And, you know, you know, I, me personally, I want quality people. I don't I try not to just follow anybody. Like even on my Facebook page, my Facebook page is um, my, my regular Facebook page or profile is new. You know, when I decided to get back in this business, I wanted to start fresh. I didn't want none of the people that was affiliated with my other business involved with this at all. You know what I'm saying? So I really wanted to uh, I really wanted to uh, uh, start fresh. So I don't have many friends on my on my new Facebook profile. I don't have many friends, but, you know, I'm looking and going through people's profiles, honestly, and I'm looking to see if they are even worthy to be my friend on here. Because if they're not really if they don't seem like they're about what I'm about, then I'm not really going to follow them or, you know, or even, you know, have them on the page because it's really no purpose. 
Um, I really like to keep my timeline congruent with a lot of motivational, inspirational, um, business minded people. You know, that's what I want to look at. I don't want to look at a lot of murder and fights and all that kind of crap. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to look at all that shit. So I really don't friend those type of people that put up that type of content. But for the most part, using your hashtags will definitely bring more people to your Instagram profile, get you more followers and uh, get you more likes on your on your pictures and things like that, which, you know, uh, it will also allow people to repost and, you know, things like that. Now, this is the fifth one, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, the uh, the video talks about um using or hosting a Instagram contest. And what this involves is basically, uh, you know, getting people involved in a contest <clears throat> where you're giving away something free. Now, the, the, the whole thing, the whole technique of using and setting up a contest is explained in the video. You have to click the link and actually go and subscribe and, you know, watch the video. And, and then in your email, you're going to get a PDF which is going to basically break down all of this stuff to you in full detail. You can be able to put it in your notes and your records and whatnot. But the Instagram contest is a very powerful way to get a lot of people coming to your page at once. And it is a good way to go viral on Instagram because people do share your posts. They can repost your stuff and what have you. So those five tips are some things that people who are looking to get into Instagram can immediately do to start growing a page. And don't think, you know, Instagram is just for kids. People be like, oh, you know, um, you know, I, I, I don't really do Instagram. You know, that's for kids, you know, and stuff like that. And the, to be honest with you, there are some major multi-million dollar brands who use Facebook to market every single day. So um, I would have to say that you are wrong in saying that Instagram is for kids. None of these social networks are for kids when you have businesses on them. You have businesses on them advertising their brand and marketing their brand. So nothing is just for kids. It may be that kids utilize them more because, you know, uh, with the technology and things like that, you know, kids are always on their phone. Kids are always, you know, into the technology. So, of course, they may be into it more than, you know, an older group of people. But for the most part, you have major businesses and major brands who are on these social networks getting money and building their brand and getting their brand in front of as many people as possible by tapping to and leveraging the power of Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, whatever, whatever social media, whatever medium is out there. You know what I'm saying? You really want to, you know, uh, get your knowledge up and learn how to how to leverage that to build your business or whatever niche it is. It could be Internet marketing. You could be a model. You could sell health care. You could sell herbs. You could you know what I'm saying? You, it don't matter what you sell or what you do. You know what I'm saying? This knowledge is very valuable for anybody that's trying to sell anything or anybody that's trying to make money online. The best way to make money online is to generate traffic and to generate leads. And when you have your leads, you always have somebody to sell to. So this is why we teach people, regardless of whatever niche, to generate leads. Um, so that's all I want to say pretty much today about uh, about this Instagram thing. If you are interested in you know, learning how to generate more followers and leads from Instagram, definitely click the link in the description of this live feed and um, check it out. I think you're going to like what you see. Peace.